Hey everyone, I'm here again with Jay Barino. Hello! And today we're going to be playing another user-submitted co-op uh, map for Rock Cabinet. This is Cradle of Death by the Skunk. Dominion researchers have discovered a hybrid birthing facility. Destroy it before the new hybrid birth. Cradle of Death, a co-op mission for the Rock Cabinet 2017. So we're having a blast going through these. Really looking forward to this one. I do know that Nathanius is voice acting. Yes, I'm excited for that, mostly because I really like Nathanius. I think he's a stand-up fella for the community of StarCraft, and I like how he speaks his mind. He doesn't uh, sugarcoat things with what he thinks about the game balance and such, so I think he's a, he's a very active community member. If you don't know who Nathanius is, you can check out his live stream on Twitch. <clears throat> he also has a YouTube channel. Yes. You can check out some of his videos as well. So, All right, so deliver pay payloads to birthing facilities. Don't let hybrids birth. So is this a, I wonder if this is a, a template splash screen that Blizzard provided, because I've noticed a few people having those objectives there in big square boxes, or maybe that's just something that's been shared around. I'm not sure. I, yeah, I'm not sure. But I like them. Uh, I think every map should consider adding them just for that ease of use. Again, when you, I personally am voting on what I think is the best idea as opposed to necessarily execution. But keep in mind, a lot of the casual voters are going to vote on execution. <laughs> so I think having mm -hmm. just little ease of entries like that helps a lot. This map seems very colorful. Colorful. Is that just me? Everything, yeah, it's all the colors. Saturated. Yeah, it's a lot more vibrant for some reason. I like, I like it. it. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Kallus. The facilities for Amon's new hybrid Balrogs are just around your landing zone. These monsters will be impervious to our weapon systems once they birth. As discussed earlier, our only shot is to destroy their incubators before they birth. Conventional weapons won't work here either, but my team's fusion chargers pack just enough punch for the job. Okay. Admiral Fabricant. I noticed that there's some upgrades in the payload facilities. Recon module. Oh, so we need to have objectives completed to unlock those. So they construct nukes that go into trucks, and I assume we have to escort the trucks. I'm assuming that. I don't know, but that's what it looks like. Do they use the nukes to destroy the, the hybrid birthing facilities? That's That was my understanding, yes. Yep. Payloads constructed in about two and a half minutes. Don't lose five payloads. That's pretty forgiving. Also, another. this was another with no difficulty select, so I'm not sure okay. what we're supposed to be... <laughs> Uh, expecting I'm glad you here because I was not paying attention to that. <laughs> <laughs> if there was or was not, so looks cool here. We're heading up to the top. Oh, there's just a giant stasis tank with a big hybrid in it. Looks cool. Looks nice. very cool. There's also I noticed a watchtower on my left. I'm gonna send SCV just just to see what that is all about. Yeah, and I also wonder where our expansions might be. Maybe, hopefully the watchtower will show us. Yeah, the map is definitely uh, very colorful. It's just, just nice. More overloads required. Been, okay, so they've been experimenting on these caged elementals. Might want to stay out of the skies. Does that mean, like, don't make air units? Is that the implication so there? Or maybe I just misunderstand. Yes. I like that there's, you know, there's a little reward for uh, actually moving out and scouting, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm just going to try to get some Zerglings out. No enemy attack yet. This is around the time where we would typically be pinged for an initial enemy attack, I think, on a normal map. Though, the payload's going to be done in 30 seconds, so we do have to be prepared to move out. To move out. Let's see. Yeah. How does that align with when our hero... Well, when the hero would birth? Kerrigan's about 40 seconds out, so she's going to be about 15 seconds behind. So I have to try to make some Zerglings to catch up. Okay. Also, yeah, I haven't um, haven't noticed anywhere to look for expansions. Though that's the kind of thing where once you play a map more than once and you know where that kind of stuff is, you don't really have to worry about it. Yep. I suppose. I, I'm going to... Oh, never mind. They're they're at the birthing chamber. Oh, at the... Just finished loading the first trucks with explosives. Just remember, when those nuclear payloads go off, they'll blow up our units as well. Stay clear of the bomb zone once you've delivered them. Oh, we each have our own separate one. Oh, and we control it? We control it. Oh. So we don't have to... Me. Okay. It's an escort, but you get to control but the But you uh, the can escort. control it. Yeah. 
and then from the from the payload facility you can t you can order it to move certain places from there as well you can have it retreat that's pretty nice there's, there's just a, a global timer that uh, prevents you from just <laughs> from sitting forever, yeah so. that's cool and there's a little <laughs> indicator just, uh, about you your your allies as well your queen listen our enemy is so technically we could <laughs> both go the same way yeah why not <laughs> but we don't have to for a second I thought maybe it's gonna force us to go separate ways but yeah you don't have to you have my attention another one where communication is uh, make it quick. key to uh, no time like the what to the map yes and again this might be like a normal difficulty doesn't seem like this is very heavily defended or anything which is fine with okay. me I just want to point out I also want to, I mean this is also the first one so we could also you could also just I mean since we can lose uh, five like if there's a heavily fortified area we could just move one payload and just blow up the <laughs> like the enemy oh yeah it. that's a good idea I didn't think about that yeah. <laughs> oh stop moving we got three minutes 24 seconds okay I'm gonna move mine yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna get my units out of here <laughs> oh that's right maybe it'll blow up the the rocks well, yeah, that's what it says. It even says if you click invulnerable plates, deliver payload trucks to destroy, which I like. We got some visitors heading for our base. They don't look too friendly. Oh, it gives you something. It gives you this. I like the user interface. It's all very custom. Uh, there's a lot of it, but it's, I don't feel like it's too cluttered or anything. So. Yeah, I agree. It's just different. It's, again, the, just even just the color it, saturation is just different. Just makes it a little... Uh, a little more interesting. Oh wow, that was a huge explosion. Last confirm. That one should no longer be a threat to us. I like how the portrait has Nathanius's face on the helmet. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah. That's funny. What have we here, commanders? I'm detecting a captured Tyrannosaur near the enemy's base. Might be a good idea to set it loose to distract him. What if I also okay. quite like I also really quite like how the uh, yes. the expansions are gated. I think that's cool. Our allies are uh -huh. in combat. We're not done yet. I just received reports of new incubators going online. Let's trash them. Let's right. trash them. Oh, can we get upgrades? Install the bruiser module on your nuclear our payloads. Rain units can load into payload and attack 50% faster. Oh, wow. So it's like a mobile bunker. Increase health and armor, decrease speed. So you oh you That's have to nice. pick one or the other. So I picked oh, the other one okay. for the sentry I need mode. To look at the other one. <laughs> our base. And the, those on, those only affect our own uh, our own. Uh, what am I trying to say? Our, our own payloads. Right, right. That's interesting though. I like that. When attacked, cloaks for ten seconds. Does yours have that as well? No, mine. That might be the recon thing that I got. No, I can uh, I can load marines into it though. <laughs> yeah, so mine is more defensive. It cloaks automatically. Got it. Okay. Well, whenever you're <coughs> ready, or are you already attacking? You seem Second fine. Of the Hi Hyperion, clearing pretty much everything out. Yeah, I realize again this this definitely strikes me as a normal or casual difficulty that it defaults to. So I assume it's <laughs> I sh we shouldn't be too worried. Uh -huh. There is an attack on our base. Mm -hmm. our allies are in combat. It's not moving though, so. So the map maker for I think it was mercenary business when he commented recently on on the video we made for his and said that he used the yes. standard template size because we've been commenting or I at least have been pointing out. Anon will attempt to destroy the payload. Make sure to disappoint him. Uh, I was pointing out how a lot of the maps seem larger. Send your reinforcements now. A lot of the maps seem too large. Mobility is an issue. Hybrid elementals approach. I don't advise engaging with an air force. Well, I'm going to go to my banshees. <laughs> okay. 
Maybe it does like okay. splash anti-air damage it, it, or something? It casts, uh, your payload has a scared driver. It's afraid because enemy Our units are near, are so it slows down. That's actually pretty neat. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of little things on this map that make this really, yeah. really neat. Make sure to move your stuff away, by the way. Oh yeah, there's the countdown, but... Uh, I can see this map having pretty high replayability. I did... Clear the area. That thing's Green, flood. run! <laughs> Oh, they also, they drop, uh, they drop units on us, so. Let's just run. <laughs> I think they should all die. Oh, why, wh the trucks have moved. It, they got attacked and they actually moved away. So let's that? see. It doesn't seem to affect where the explosion happens, though. Interesting. Okay. Blast confirmed. That one should no longer be a threat to us. I'm also still mildly questioning whether we should or should not be making air units. I understand that those elementals are supposed to prohibit you from doing that, I suppose? Uh -huh. And there really isn't much of an <laughs> air-focused commander right now, so I don't think that would ever be an uh -huh. issue. Okay, we have new upgrades available. Anti-air module or detection module. I'm just going to go full anti-air. I'll get the detection attack. module because I'm lazy okay. and don't want to make overseers. <laughs> completed. Yeah, I can see this definitely Evolution having high replayability. Lots of choices. Uh, the skunk also said Explain. each time you play this map, I mean, there's several different events that happen, which change. Oh, really? That's cool. Yep. Yeah, replayability is a huge factor that I think is... That's great. That's a big thumbs up for me for sure. Yeah. It definitely adds to the map. Very uh, varied type of units. We have like a primal hive down here. Mm -hmm. Man, there is just so much on this. This map has a lot to offer. And something about the look of it. It's just really charming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They've got some important data about these hybrid experiments on those computers. It's not mission critical, but it would be nice if you destroyed them. A few missing voice lines. Yeah. Not an oh, issue. Causing mayhem in the enemy's oh, that's cool. <laughs> ah, cool. That's Your neat. Queen. So you pointed out after we stopped recording in the last mission, but it, it applies here too. It's nice to see a side. It's a it's a bonus side mission that does actually affect the main the main mission. The, the main. Yeah. Yep. So like it's distracting them. Maybe that just means they won't send attacks for a little bit of time or something. I don't know. Yeah. Metamorphosis completed. Cool. Speak. Are the payloads out? They are. Okay. They are. Can we get upgrades? Oh, no. We already got the upgrades for them. Yep. So. And the, the concept that you can move the payloads, I mean, it gives the players more, more choices, you know, puts them more in control, which is very, very cool. Yeah. Anon will attempt to destroy the Sure. So it sends drop pods each time, which I like. Make it quick. And it gives you a, a notable audio cue with the roaring, where it says, there's enemies coming, basically. <laughs> I like that. Your queen. Did you notice that when the portrait pops up, it yes. blocks off some of the bonus I'm objectives? Let's kill them. Oh, I noticed that too, yeah. Not, not a huge deal. How does that normally work? Uh, well, my transmission window is is stuck open right now. Just a very uh -huh. minor bug. An enemy attack coming for our base. Stay frosty. We do have six minutes. I'm going to move the payload up with my army. Okay. Just make some units to defend at home. Put the Hyperion. The Hyperion can yeah, pretty much do this himself. Yeah. Okay, there is a attack coming at home. I'm building units to def to deal with that. Though, yeah. so are they going for your? Oh, they're going for your uh, bon for your your other base. base. I think you'll be okay. Yeah. Just... Oh God. Yeah. So you can't really run the payloads away. I, I like that too. You you have to get units over to them. Yeah, I like the scared mechanic. What I like most is I'm actually imagining how this would scale up in difficulty, and I'm liking I'm liking the thought of it. Because you have to you have to think about 
the payload at all times. Meanwhile, you've got your bases getting attacked and stuff like that. Also, there's no obligation to destroy all this stuff because you just blow it all up. Yep. <laughs> just, I mean, but you also can't just rush the payload in there because it'll get targeted and yeah. slow down. And there's more, there's rocks over here we can clear out. And let's go for the, the computers, I guess? Yeah. Boosh! <laughs> That's, that's satisfying. It is really very, satisfying. Very satisfying. The whole screen shakes no matter where you're looking, too. It's pretty pretty funny. Last confirmed. That one should no longer be a threat to us. Nice. I guess bonus objective time. Bonus objectives. Let's see what our other upgrades are. Shockwave module. Wave is now available. And the other one didn't show up for me. So. Yeah, it says fourth objective completed. So I guess I'm getting the shockwave module. Because I don't have an option for okay. the mines. Yeah, I feel like there's a. Th speak. Go ahead. All right, we're not done yet. I just received reports of new incubators going online. Let's trash them. Yes. So I feel like there's a lot of stuff to digest the first time you play this. A lot of stuff going on. But after the first, you know, first few times playing this, you should be okay. I think there's a lot oh, of wow. stuff to digest, but it's all optional. It's not required to to complete the map. Like, you could pick either of those upgrades. The idea is that there there's some parity there. Uh-huh. So I, I think that that's probably... I, I prefer that. It's It doesn't feel like, oh, God, there's a million things you need to know, and if you didn't, if you missed a transmission, right. you're going to lose. <laughs> right. Anon will attempt to destroy the payload. Make sure to disappoint him. It worked. The Tyrannosaur is causing mayhem in the enemy's base, and they're forced to pull some of their guys to defend. Okay, same deal. And you, you know what? <laughs> you could probably time that to release a Tyrannosaur when you're moving when out you can, yeah. with the payloads. That's cool. My queen! Not like these! Okay. I feel like if this wasn't on normal difficulty, I, I probably would have lost already right lost. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And again, we are we are showcasing these. So. Yeah. I had mentioned before we started recording too. I was mildly concerned about this map. I was afraid it was just going to be like meme central, because when I, like all the I saw a bunch of really cool screenshots for it, and it just looked so ridiculous. But now that we're playing it, it all just so, it works really well. I, I think it's just the colors. Something about the colors again. They're so they're so vibrant that at first you're like, this looks ridiculous. This is not. This doesn't look like Starcraft. And I don't know. I don't know what was done with the lighting to achieve it. But it's it's different and it's cool. I like it. Hybrid mutualists are heading towards your base. Watch out. They've been experimenting on these caged mutualists. Be prepared to face flying hybrid. Okay. Did that come through weird for you, too? Yes, it did. Okay. That was the first time that Admiral actually talked, though. No, that's Nathanius. No, it wasn't Nathanius, but a different um, a filter, or he just... It was just a different you know. person, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably just placeholder text lines before he got them all recorded, perhaps. Recorded yep. and applied. The enemy is attacking the payload. Send your reinforcements now. Oh, your payload. Stay cloaked, buddy. Oh, he is cloaked. That's nice. Use that shockwave. The Marines, get in the payload. <laughs> I'm detecting an enemy attack. They're heading towards us now. This is another one. It, it definitely feels very frantic. <laughs> but I like it. Uh, it just forces you to move out. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of in that in-between where I said I, it doesn't feel like it's overbearing. Uh, I don't feel like there's so much happening that I, I feel overloaded or anything, but it's like a lot is happening. Or uh -huh. it feels like a lot is happening. But that's mostly because you have to pay attention to the payload because you can control where it goes. Okay, I got mine. Uh, I did too. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> so can the, nuke, can the nukes actually get destroyed? No, they can't. That's good. Those poor truck drivers. They just stay there and get blown up. <laughs> Poor guys. I, I imagine they, they escape somehow. Thank you for that. One, for putting my mind at ease, and also for the Hyperion. 
where were the hybrid? Did they say they were flying hybrid coming somewhere? Uh, I thought so. I think they hatch from these little thingies. Like, they're immutalists. It's possible that on higher difficulties, oh, okay. like, more of them would spawn, but I really don't know. Okay. I get the impression more would spawn on a on a different difficulty. Well, I do have to say this is a map that makes me want to play again. Play this again. Yeah, I agree. Again, especially because we hear that there's different types of things that could happen. We're not done yet. I just received reports of new incubators going online. Let's trash them. Explain this is the last one. We're 23 minutes in. So, a lot of these maps, again, with the map size, the basic template map size as well, a lot of these are coming out to be about 30 to 35 minutes. Uh -huh. It's on the longer side of what is available in co-op in general, but that's not a bad thing, I suppose. I've been pointing this out on, on every map, I should say. Just to clarify for everyone watching, I'm not saying long maps are a good or bad thing, but if it feels like a slog, it could be because of length. This does not feel like a slog. Also, I don't think we have to go down here. No. <laughs> There's a generator here, but we don't... We don't need to do anything with it. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Yeah, maybe it'll release another Tyrannosaur that's not an optional objective. I don't know. That would be neat. Mm, nothing. <laughs> Speak. What is it? Oh, attack wave at home. You yeah. got your Hydralis, though. I have a few. I'm going to move my truck. That's a good idea. Can you get another upgrade for yours? Oh, I didn't look. No. I, can, I cannot. Yeah, neither of mine are selectable. Our allies are okay. There's repair drone module and mine module. Fourth objective completed, which it is, but we can't uh, select it. We also have seven and a half minutes, which is pretty significant. <laughs> okay, how do we get here? Uh, right down here. And I, I don't know what, if you have to, like, we sense say what really. difficulty this would be. Like, would you say it's like a normal? I would hard... guess this was normal. Okay. If not casual, just because some of the enemy attacks at the beginning, it was like one Warhound. But mm -hmm. casual, I think, just means enemies have half health. So I assume that's not casual. I would I would say normal. Yeah, definitely normal. Okay, let's clear this out. Mutalists are heading towards your base. Watch okay. out. I want to check those Mutalists. <laughs> oh, God. I, I never stay with the payload. <laughs> Probably should. The mission objective. Oh, it did. It had a like an EMP burst. Did you see that? Um, that I amazing. I know. I think I saw it last time. I, I missed it when it tried it that time. Blast. Also, the trucks do have. You're getting wiped out at home, but I suppose we could just get in there and win. Yeah, <laughs> uh, let's just oh. let's just go. The uh, the trucks do have an attack, so they won't just uh -huh. like slowly roll in when you're trying to. Uh, right. If you have them selected with your army, yeah. Our I just saw a little tooltip that was titled Reaper Jump Speak. Copy. It's just like a minor thing there. Yes. It's little things to clean up, if so desired, for a final release. Kaboosh. Kaboosh. <laughs> Click to upgrade. Um, Co-created by the skunk and CTG, voiced by Nathanius. Special thanks to Nathanius. Not only for his voice, act, voice work on his mission, but also for his continual dedication to the StarCraft II scene, to streaming, casting, and advocating for a better game. Our if you're playing this mission and you aren't familiar with Nathanius, check out his stream at Twitch TV, ready, TV Nathanius. Go check him out. Also, Jay Verino. And Deltra. <laughs> and Deltra. <laughs> Anybody who's, who's actively supporting the SC scene. But I agree. Nathanius is great. Check him out. Pretty big name. Anyway, mm -hmm. final thoughts. I'm going to exit this because I keep getting attack yeah. notifications. It's going to go back to the arcade. Um, I'll do a bit of a roundup here. Uh, from my perspective, I thought that map was cool. It has a lot of replayability. There's very minor things that could be adjusted. Um, I shudder to think what the, the the higher difficulties could be like. I feel like a Brutal would be pretty darn hard. Hmm. 
if if that was normal, I think the brutal attack waves would be way, way, way more challenging for sure. Um, granted, you know, we're like half-hearted in these. We, we're going in completely blind. As as you said earlier, you know, going in with knowledge on the maps is half the battle. So even mm -hmm. I feel like Kerrigan has such a slow start in terms of all the commanders that she definitely struggles in, in the early games. But, you know, once you're not going in blind, you know what the map's about, um, then that's half the battle again. Uh, I think mm -hmm. that this is... It's a modified Missed Opportunities. A lot of the maps we played reminded me of Missed Opportunities. This one is specifically interesting because you can control where the truck goes. So you, the prerogative is on you when you move it, and you have to just yeah. get it there before the timer runs out. So yeah, it's just a little twist. The, the escorter. Yeah, you, you're the escort and the escorter. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and you can... Add those little upgrades, which I think is a nice little thing. Like if you're er if you're absent-minded, like me specifically, getting that cloak upgrade probably saved us from losing even on a normal difficulty because I <laughs> definitely would have lost my truck. Yeah, uh, yeah. overall I, I liked it. I, I think again, I think it's a really cool take on the escort mission. Something about the colors, the lighting on the map. I don't know why, uh, but I thought it was really cool too. Just the look of the map. Yeah, the colors gave it like kind of like a funky, like you know 70s 80s vibe <laughs> just like an extra fun it just it just yeah. felt it just felt uh kind of goofy the giant explosions uh yeah. you know the nathanius marine all that kind of stuff real just adds a just a it just adds like a don't take this too seriously vibe which i love <laughs> yep yeah just uh, another quick thing um nathanius's voice could be increased a little bit it was a little soft in some some parts just try to match it with the like the Blizzard co-op commander's uh, voice lines. So yeah, definitely volume level, but a uh, very fun map. Uh, definitely. am going to play this again just to see what other events take place, uh, what other things take place. And uh, yeah, I would very much like to play this on a harder difficulty just to see uh, also the elementals. Like it said, avoid using air units. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> It said they were anti-air elementals. Anti -air. Okay. I'm not sure if that's meant to so. just completely prohibit you from using air just to punish the player for making air units, which I think, I don't know if I agree with that, but it just seems like they were called anti-air elementals. So they probably just okay. do splash air damage or something. Yeah, but very cool map. Uh, awesome job. And uh, yeah, we look forward to playing the next RTC co-op map. Until then, this has been Deltron and Jay Perino. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now.